holy shay, g'day guys, and welcome to my Back to Basics potion tutorial. But, before I start to experiment, I just want to tell you guys about another YouTube channel I have just come across. It's called Cars and Water, and it does some mind-melting science experiments. It is so much fun. i got to show you this clip. Check it out. <laughs> Now click that sign right behind me. It will send you straight to the channel. Click subscribe and be prepared to be blown away. You'll find tons more videos of different objects and stuff just being melted and disintegrated. Enjoy those videos, guys. And just remember, don't try that stuff at home. But now, it's my turn. <laughs> Now, as I wanted to do, guys, I wanted to do a Back to Basics tutorial. So these are the potions that will eventually be easy enough for you to remember. It's not all of them. It's not like every single facet of potion making. But it is what will get you by in general day-to-day -day survival. Um, and there's a, couple, there's, a little, there's a new one at the end there. So, to make any potion, you need to start with a awkward potion, an awkward potion. So to make the awkward potion, you need three water bottles and the nether wart. And see here, here are some I prepared earlier. I don't know why I have 64 of those. Ignore that, folks. Just ignore that there. So you put your water bottles in the bottom. You put your nether wart in the top. And blah, 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 as it bubbles, it bubbles. Oh, that's the time. And blah, 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 oh. So yeah. Do, 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 do. Ba, ba, da, ba. And now we have one, two, and three awkward potions. Yay! So this is how you make an awkward potion. And you can drink it, uh, but there's absolutely nothing else you can do with it. So moving on the next potion I've, I've tried to put them kind of in groups so i'll go through the good ones first we have a the potion of healing as i said to make any potion you do need the awkward potion with the nether wart uh so for the potion of healing it is three awkward potions with a glistering melon so we've got the one two three see i already had them there it didn't really need more and you whack them in. And I'm not going to uh, hang around for too long, folks. I will come back and show you once that is done. Now, fire resistance. We've got awkward potion and the magma cream. Again, I did prepare, but you know what? You guys, you guys know what it looks like. Let's just put them in there then. Let's just put them in there. One, two, three. Boom. Done. Next up, a potion of a regeneration is the awkward potion with gas tears. I reckon somebody out there needs to make up like a little poem that you can remember what it is as to what you use, like the ingredient and stuff. So let's just go back here. Let's go back here because I love being confusing. Instant health. Potion of healing. Look at that. That's lovely. <coughs> Dang. Now we have a potion of fire resistance with the magma cream. Awesome. And nothing yet. Nothing yet. Cha-ching. Potion of regeneration. Woot, 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 woot. Okay. Beautiful. Now, let me just do something here. I'm so clever at making my things disappear. Okay, next up we have the Potion of Strength. Using the Awkward Potion, of course, with the Blaze Powder. So, boom, 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 boom. This really is necessary. But there you go. Uh, next up we have the Potion of Swiftness. Now, um, this one is actually one of the easiest ones to remember because if you eat too much sugar, you're going to start like buzzing around the room and stuff. So that would make you nice and swift. So there you go. That actually makes sense, the fact that they've used sugar to make you go fast and crazy. Now, this one, there's not... Well, I didn't even know about this one. I knew that they were going to start using puffer fish for something, but I thought it was going to be for something poisonous because it's like fugu. You don't eat the fugu. Um, but a potion of water breathing, awkward potion, and the puffer fish. So let's get this in and make sure it actually works. Make sure it's not just an update that's been released on paper and not actually in the game. Now this one as well, obviously because it's a golden me. See, that's a self-portrait. 
Um, if you eat carrots, it gives you it gives you good vision and stuff. So potion of night vision, orchid potion, and the golden carrot. Let's get this in. Bum, bum, ba -dum, ba -bum. Let's go back. Let's go back and see if it worked. Potion of strength. See if I did this. Ah, oh, look at that pretty. That's so pretty. And next up, we have the potion of swiftness. The sugar high potion. Look at this. You get speed. You got oh speed in a jar. That's not good, kids. Don't try it at home. We've got the potion of water breathing. See, there you go. There you go. So if you've got to like work underwater and stuff, you get your you get your puffer fish, and now there's actually a use for it. Potion of night vision. There we go. Look at that. That's probably one of my favourites, actually. That really comes in handy. Now, this is where it starts. There's a little bit of a crossover here, because then we go we go back to the awkward potion here. But Potion of Invisibility. Uh, that's why I put this one next to it. So you've got your Potion of Night Vision with your Golden Carrot, which is needed here, the first ingredient, with a fermented spider eye. So we'll just grab these out of here. The Potion of a Night Vision with a fermented spider eye gives you your Potion of Invisibility. I'm glad they don't all do this. Um, I'll put in the description below the uh, where I got this information from. It was clearly the Minecraft wiki. Uh, but there are some more complex potions that you guys can look at. The last two here are the bad guys, the only bad guys that you really need. So we have the potion of poison with a spider eye. Doot, doot, and doot. And last but not least, we also have the potion of weakness. Again, using awkward potion, but this time a fermented spider eye. So we got doot, 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 and doot, and just pop that in. And a boop, 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 be doop, boop, boop. So that's the last of our potions. Let's check up on these to make sure that they are done right. So remember, this one's done with the night vision rather than the awkward potion. Do, do, do. We have invisibility. That's so smexy. Next up, the potion of poison with a spider eye and awkward potion. And that's lovely. And the potion of weakness. Are you done? You are done. Look at that. Potion of weakness. So these are the basic potions. Uh, like I said, there are more in the Minecraft wiki if you guys want to go ahead and experiment. But these are the ones that will get you by. Just before I go, though, there's one last little touch. One last little thing that you can do to your potions just to make them bigger and better and faster and stronger and harder and longer and all the good stuff. So just come over this way. This here is what I wanted to show you guys. So there's three ingredients in front of me. I have glowstone dust, I've got redstone dust, and I also have gunpowder. Now when you add these items individually to your potion of choice, you can either make it stronger, make it last longer, or you can make it a splashy potion. I've decided to try this out on the potion of strength in the three different styles of doing it. Now, you can't add all three to the one potion. Uh, well, you can, but it will reduce effects on other things. But this, uh, you, you guys can go away and try all this out. This is just the basics, remember. I don't know what happened there. There's nothing over there. Um, so, with a potion of strength and a, a glowstone dust, you will get a double strong potion of strength. So let's just get the three potions of strength, put them in with a glowstone dust in the top, and we'll check back on those in a second. Next up is the potion of strength extended. So this will make a sippy potion of strength last a touch longer with the redstone dust. So let's just get these out as well and pop these in the machine. Now, what I, I really like to do, and hello, Sam. Sam, can you guys see that down in the chat there? Sam says hello. Um, the last one here is the Splash Potion. So these ones are good, especially for the negative effect potions, if you want to throw them at other people. Um, or if you want to, if it's a good potion and you want to affect more than one person at a time, you use some gunpowder. So, three of the potions of strength with a gunpowder. These make the bottles look nice and smexy as well. So just pop them in there, and we'll check back on those in a second. So up here, the Potion of Strength 2. So it's a stronger Potion of Strength. Look at that. Strength Mark 2. That's lovely. That's lovely. See, look, let me... Oh, it's a sippy sippy. Look at this. I is so strong. Uh, now this one here for the extended time. Do, 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 do. 
Uh, oh, look, there's none left. So the potion of strength goes for 1 minute and 30. With the extended time, we've got 8 minutes on that sucker. 8 minutes, baby. And now my favourite. Look at the smexy bottle. You get out of there. You go there. Look at this. And you can show it. Bam! Throw it on yourself. Potluck, throw it in the air. Woo! It's going to... Ah, ha, ha. It got in my face. It got in my... Don't you hate that? Don't you just hate that? So this has been my Back to Basics potion tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And just remember to check out that other YouTube channel, The Cars and Water, for lots of exploding melty stuff. It's great fun. Just before I go, though, remember, guys, say good day to your neighbour. <laughs>